for this video for Caravan Guard, we're going to be talking about draining down your caravan. Now recently we created a video to show you the entire process on how to drain down. And in that video, we also mentioned that some gadgets on the market which can drain down your caravan. Now your insurance policy specifies that between the 1st of November and the 15th of March, your caravan must be drained down. Now the gadget we briefly showed in that video was this. It's called a flow and it uses air to push through any last droplets of water. But there's also another benefit as well, which I'll come to later on. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what this device actually is. Right, this is the flow kit and the principle is really straightforward. You connect it to your external fitting on your caravan. In this case, it's a Truma uh, Ultra Flow Kit. They do produce different versions of this kit for the different fittings depending on your water inlet. So with your fitting inserted into the caravan, it goes down to this clear tube and it connects eventually onto this adapter here, which connects onto a foot pump or a tire inflator. And the principle is really straightforward. It uses air at a very low pressure to push out any last remaining drops from your system. Now the pack comes with a very helpful DVD. I haven't played that because literally I've just got picked it up from the shops. But it does come with some very straightforward instructions. Connect the device, connect it all up together, insert it into your caravan, use a tire inflator up to 15 PSI maximum. Make sure your taps are closed and then open each tap individually and allow the air to push out the last remaining water. So let's get on and do that now. So very straightforward, all connects up together. And I'm going to fit onto here the tyre inflator. As you can see, it's just a normal car tyre valve on there. And I'm going to insert that into the caravan. So this is the tyre inflator which I'm using. And I've set it to a maximum of 15 PSI, which you can see there. Like so. And then I'm just going to fix this onto the end of the flow device. Right, let's push that in there like so. Now I'm not gonna start anything just yet. We need to nip inside now and close all the taps. Right, I've just run around the caravan. I've closed all the taps down, including the drain down tap as well, which is right next to our hot water tank. So all the taps are now closed. And also what I've done is I've put a bowl here in the sink and uh, we'll see how much water is pushed out of the system. So the process is really simple. What I'm going to do now is gonna run back outside turn on the compressor, get it to reach up to 15 PSI with all the taps closed. Then I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna use the cold water tap and I'm gonna open the kitchen cold water tap here and we'll see how much water is pushed out. So that's the process, let's get on and do it. All right, here goes. Now the actual instructions are quite clear. They basically state to repeat the process until there's no more water being blown out of the taps. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm running the air through first time and then running it through a second and maybe a third timer as well. So that's how much water is in that I've taken out from just one tap doing the cold water. I haven't started the hot water yet and I haven't removed any water out of the bathroom. So let me run around and do those in exactly the same process that I've been doing here. And then I'll show you how much water I get out of the entire system in the end. Now a point worth noting, you haven't seen me do it, but I can assure you I have completed it. And that is draining down the hot water system. In actual fact, is exactly the same process as the cold water system. Right, what I've done now is I've just taken the shower head off. So I've just got this here. Uh, so I've taken the shower head off. And again, as per normal. Um, the measuring jug I've got here only goes up to 400 mils at a time. So let's just uh, make a start and uh, start measuring out how much we've got here. I hope you can see this. So that's 400 mils. 
just pouring it into another bowl actually. Eight hundred. Whoa, eight hundred and fifty. I would say eight hundred and fifty mils. And that is this caravan now successfully drained down. As you can see, we've removed 850 millilitres of water. And if you had drained down the caravan before setting off the last trip, typically you could have removed a litre and a half to two litres of water from the system. Now, perhaps the hidden benefit of using the flow device is the way it's keeping our pipes nice and clean. You see, by removing all of the stagnant water out of the pipes, it means that there's no opportunity for biofilm to build up on the inside of the pipework. You would have seen that some of the water that came out of our pipes was questionable in terms of its cleanliness. And indeed, this device has actually blown out all of the biofilm and the buildup and the algae, which is forming on the inside of the pipes. Now for more information about the flow and how to drain down your caravan, head on over to the Caravan Guard blog where there's a written article and a helpful video showing you the process of draining down your caravan. And whilst you're there, why not pick up a great value quote for your caravan insurance? Thanks for watching.